Hello, welcome back. We are still in the early stages of season two of The Legend of Korra, and today we're going to be watching episode three, which is called Civil Wars Part One. Oh, okay, so it's maybe a two parter or something. Uh, maybe I'll watch them both today. We'll see. But let's watch Civil Wars Part One, and I hope you guys enjoy. Everyone, clear the streets. Get back in your homes. What is this? Martial law already? This does not look friendly at all. They're not allowing anyone to leave either. There is another portal in the north. Once you open it, Spirits and man will be able to move freely between the north and the south in a matter of seconds. What is his goal, actually? The world will be united again. Is what he's saying true, or is he making stuff up? Or does he want to use that for nefarious purposes? The, uh, I haven't felt this at portals peace and since. Being able to <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and it's over. You know what I'm trying to say. It's so nice to get to spend more time with my family. Reminds me of all those great vacations we took as kids with Dad. Boomy and I weren't on those great vacations. It was always just you and Dad. What about the time he took us to Kiyoshi Island? Nope. We weren't there. Oh, remember Ember Island? We never saw the place. Because they're not airbenders? They didn't get to go on any vacations? Do you have a baby in there? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that hurts. Where's your sister? Janora, were you and Milo teasing your sister again? Yes. She ran away. Honestly, I don't know why you kids can't just get along. Because they're kids. They're, they're siblings. I'll find They're her. supposed to get on each other's nerves and fight. What do you say we all go together? Sure. I could use the help. Thank you for coming, everyone. I know these last few days have been very troubling. Troubling? Unalak's already booted our chieftains out of their palace. How long before he starts telling us what kind of cookies we can eat? Not to mention, I've got a cargo ship full of halibut that's rotting thanks to this harbor lockdown. Chief Unalak is here to help the South. He wants he? to show us how to restore balance with the spirits so they'll stop attacking. The only spirit I'm interested in restoring is our spirit of independence. Am I right, people? Yeah. <laughs> he wants control of our wealth. He wants control of something, maybe. We have no choice but to fight for our freedom! You want to start a war? Are you crazy? Maybe you could speak with your uncle. Tell him how frustrated we all are. I'll do it for the tribe. We need to start preparing for war. I will not miss it at all. I hold immense dislike for the South. What the fuck? <laughs> you know, I'll be really sad when you have to leave. But you will be coming with me to the north. Oh there, no. There we will live the rest of our lives together in icy bliss. Foolish Bolin. <laughs> uh, you all right, bro? No. No, no, I'm not all right. I can't is. take anymore. Don't make me. Oh, please, please don't make me. Just break up with her. You could do that? Yeah. Thanks, Mako. Whew. I'm lucky you're so good at breaking girls' hearts. Ooh. No, it's just, uh... Yeah. You know, uh, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that she is going to, uh... Take too kindly to his breakup. And she'll probably just be like, Nope, you're not allowed. And he'll be like, Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> there was a meeting at my parents' house. A lot of Southerners feel like their tribe is being invaded. I'm uniting not invading there could be a civil war this is a war only the avatar can prevent as the avatar you must remain neutral in this conflict i have no doubt you will become the most admired avatar the world has ever known thank you uncle <sighs> i just i don't know about this guy this unalak guy who threw those <laughs> <laughs> You hoodlums think you're tough, huh? They're just kids. Stop! 
Everyone, calm down. You're all part of the same tribe. Start acting like it. You're taking their side? You're the worst Avatar ever. They're not worth our trouble. Go back to your homes. It's only a matter of time before things get out of hand. Cora, I... Cora! Bad vibes. Iki, where are you? Over here, Dad. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Freaking boomy. Why would Iki run off like this? I'm guessing you've been so busy with your duty to Republic City that you forgot about your duty to your kids. I wish I could be as good a father as Dad was to us. To you. He was so focused on saving the world and that he never had time for us. He always had time for you, though. His precious little airbender. Dad loved us all equally. See what he's doing there, Boomy? Classic airbender technique. Cutting and running when things get tough. Ugh. Yeah, did Dad teach you that move? <laughs> Man. Bad vibes. My tribe's about to go to war, and I'm supposed to stop it, but will anyone listen to me? No. How about you take a break from all this Avatar stuff, and we go out for a quiet dinner? Just the two of us. Yes, let's do that. I need that. What, what's, what's wrong? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this fun, huh? Excuse us while we retrieve more sustenance. Does he want witnesses or support with his breakup? I thought you were breaking up with her. I tried, but anytime I bring up the subject, she threatens to freeze me in a block of ice and feed me to dolphin piranhas. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> oh, poor Bolin. Oh. You know, this reminds me of a search and rescue mission I commanded years ago. I piled all 12 of those poor souls on my back. And how exactly is that supposed to help us find Iki? It was supposed to inspire you. Clearly, you know nothing about being a leader of men. That's probably why the Avatar fired you. <sighs> I found footprints. Come on. No, follow me. This will get us down 50 times faster. Wait, you're going to hurt yourself. Come on, you wimps. Okay, so he's... Boomy is a non-bender. She's water. And then... Here. You were right, Boomy. That was faster. If you need an airlift down, just say the word. Ah, I don't need your help. Ah! Ooh. Ah! Boomy! They had a lot of time to try to save him. <laughs> they just kind of watched him fall. I found out Dad's been lying to me my whole life. And you never said anything. We were trying to keep our family together. But everyone keeps holding me back, even my own parents. Unalak's the only one who believes in me. That's not true, Korra. Varric's been plotting a rebellion against Unalak. He asked your father to join and... Dad is part of a rebellion? I don't know, but I don't want you getting caught in the middle of it. It's too late, Mom. I'm already in the middle Ooh, of it. Ooh, boy. Yep. Varric is not all about this. No. Uncle! It's happening already. What the heck? Turn around, Avatar, and pretend you didn't see anything. She no. can't do that. Get him out of here! I love the drums here in the song. you where's my father he wouldn't help us thank you for saving my life i'm just glad i got here in time she really just assumed it was her dad wait you can't just lock them away you want them to go free no <laughs> but let them stand trial for what they did very well you're lucky you didn't kill yourself you done with the lecture mom oh grow up kai is right you're the oldest of us, but you always acted like the youngest. I had to become the responsible one. You think you're the responsible one? You two have no idea how it feels to have the future of an entire culture on your shoulders. Oh, boo-hoo. Mm. Must have been real hard for you. It, that does sound hard. 
You think you're some savior who has to carry on Dad's legacy. Who else is going to do it? How about all of us? I can't be around you two right now. Go back to the temple and see if Iki returned. I'll keep looking out here. Fine. 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 So basically, family, <laughs> family is complicated, is what we're learning in this episode. Family is complicated. Is it okay if I come in? <laughs> I'm so glad you weren't there. I don't know what I would have done. My brother and I have our differences, but I would never attack him. After I saw the Southern Lights return, I was so proud of you. I never should have held you back. All we wanted was to live a simple life and raise a family. But then we discovered you were the Avatar. Not so simple anymore. We weren't expecting you. Tonrock, Senna, you are under arrest and will stand trial. But they trial? didn't do it. For what? For conspiring to assassinate me. What? No, this isn't right. No, that's not right. They weren't involved. There's no proof that they were involved. And since when was it an assassination attempt? What is going on? Hmm. Something's fishy. And we can see that Tenzin and Bumi and Kaya, they had different childhoods. They had different experiences as Aang's children. Maybe there was a little bit of favoritism or at least perceived favoritism by Bumi and Kaya when it comes to Tenzin's relationship with his father. And I can understand how that could happen because Aang and Katara had three children. Eventually they need to stop having children. They can't have them forever. One of them, only one, was an airbender. The only one that could continue the airbending line. And so Aang had to make sure that he was strong, that he was knowledgeable about the culture and about using airbending and all these different things. And I can definitely see how he could have been the focus, the focal point of, of Aang's time. And I don't think it's necessarily right or fair to the other children, but maybe kind of a necessity? I don't know. Couldn't he have brought everybody along on the field trips? But yeah, basically this episode was about um, family is complicated and not always easy and not very straightforward and yeah, family is tough. We had Tenzin not getting along with his siblings, Iki not getting along with her siblings, and then Korra with her father and her uncle, all and, and the, the tribes that are supposed to be a family, is supposed to be one tribe, just clashing and butting heads. And well, we need to watch the next episode to see what's going to happen. So until next time, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.